So I'm just at the top end of Chesterfield Canal, more or less nearly in Chesterfield Town Centre. And these are the new houses up there. But uh, you see by the debris in the trees. Look how high the water's been here. In that last flood we had. Look at that, look at the plastic in the trees. And then these new houses. I won't fancy one of them. Let's just have a look through this side. Probably can hear we're quite near the Chesterfield bypass now, but you can see how high the water's been. Look at the plastic. And rubbish caught in the trees. Look at that. And that's the new housing development they've built. Plastic houses for plastic people and not a not a chimney in sight. But look at that, look at that how that's been swept, swept back. All that brush being swept back by the force of the water. And look at that, there's no flood protection at all. And that that wasn't really a major a major flood up this up this top end. Look at that, you can tell how high the water's been. In fact part of the path down there has been has been washed away, you can get through. But uh, yeah. Yeah it's been in it's been in there. Been in there. All that's flood wash. Yeah, it's been, it's been in there, it's been in their yard, that firm's yard. So look at that, look at all the plastic in the trees. It must have gone into that, must have gone onto that estate, must have. I mean, if I was on the towpath now in that flood, I would be underwater. And see how high it's been. It's definitely been in there. I mean, that's the height. That's the height of the of the water there. All these leaves and debris caught in the fence, and then look at then look at the height of that yard. So it's definitely flooded. It's definitely flooded in there. Who would want one of those houses? We've got a Ranger over there, a brand new Jaguar, a Ford Ranger. They've all got brand new cars. And you buy a house and you live next to this. Look at that, you can just see been right at, right at the top of the bank so yeah not for me no thanks let's just have a look let's just have a look at this bridge here this is a bridge that hasn't been washed away like the other one earlier look at that let's see if we can get down here just have a look So the water's been, you can see the houses behind, the water's been right up on this bridge. Look at all that lot caught in it. Christmas bauble. Christmas bauble there, look. definitely been in there. So it's been right over this footpath. That's a path that leads up over Chesterfield bypass. And then these are the new houses here, look. Let's just have a look, a quick look in here. Look at that. So 
that's the bridge. You can see the height of the water on the bridge. And then panning round all your debris and your trees. And then you've got these new houses here. No, thank you. I don't think I'd want one rent or mortgage free. I mean, I don't know how your insurance works when you live in such a flood risk area like that. I just uh, just wouldn't want to uh, just wouldn't want to live there. We never we you can hear the road noise. We're virtually at the end of the canal now, nearly at the chest, nearly at the railway station. So. Yeah, it's been right up on that bridge, the water, and uh, that's the footpath level leading into that new estate. So it's uh, kind of built on a floodplain. It's definitely flooded that factory, that business there. It's flooded that, uh, which is bad enough. But uh, that's people's homes, livelihoods, and belongings, and uh, and a safe haven that you you come home from uh, you come home from work and the world outside licking your wounds and uh, you lock your front door and you expect to sit down and watch Coronation Street or Heartbeat in the uh, dry warm comfort of your own home and uh, you've got that running past you, your front door and your back door and your garden so yeah it's uh, it's not ideal but uh, I guess the developers got their money and uh, they're still building them round the other side so, similar, similar story to Catcliffe, really. Yeah, similar story to Catcliffe. Developers, take your money. And, uh, I mean, look at the debris in the trees here. And I've got the camera at head height. And uh, it's definitely flooded that industrial estate there. So this has been totally submerged under water. You can tell by the debris caught in the fencing. So yeah, it's not an ideal place to live. And uh, would you get used to that road noise? Obviously, it's amplified in winter with uh, no vegetation on the trees. But uh, yeah, interesting.